Hariyom, welcome to Balvihar, a child's journey from kindergarten to graduation. We will share with you the exciting roadmap of the child's spiritual journey. Please fasten your seatbelts and we hope you enjoy this presentation. The Balvihar curriculum for CMDFW was designed by Swami Sarveshananda to account for the different needs of different age groups. For example, during the lower elementary years, children are interested in stories, whereas the higher elementary focuses on symbolic meanings. The middle school children go through defining their identity and building a good character, and by high school, we hope that the child has developed an integrated personality to face the world. We will examine each of these developmental phases shortly. Every class starts and ends with a prayer. They are taught bhajans and stotrams during their class time. Classes take turns to share with the assembly about what they learn in Balvihar. Every class also gets a chance to perform once during a festival. But for now, let's take a closer look at the kindergarten to second grade classes. In kindergarten, values, morals, and ethics are introduced through the alphabets, and stories of Lord Rama and Sri Krishna provide plenty of examples for the same. Learning stories related to Lord Rama is not new for these Balvihar children. What's unique to us is how we gently remind children of the Hindu Dharma. Our Dharma is to fulfill our duties and responsibilities, and Lord Rama's life is full of examples on how to lead such a Dharmic life. In second grade, the children explore another meaning of Dharma as righteousness. Having learned about Lord Rama, we now introduce the other incarnations of the Lord through the Dashavatars. Children in grades 3 and 4 are now ready to dive into symbolism. Hindu culture appears to be abstract, but children learn to explore this aspect as well. In grade 3, we learn about Hanumanji and the 24 Gurus. An overview of each Guru is presented through stories, Hindu values, cultural traditions, and rituals. Symbolism in Hinduism is further explored through other deities. Children continue to get an overview of each deity, and they explore the symbolism of Lords Ganesha, Vishnu, Rama, Krishna, and Devi. Children in this grade explore the importance of Hindu rituals, festivals, as well as traditions. They also learn to chant Bhagavad Gita chapter 12 and Ganesha Pancharatnam. After laying the rock-solid foundation rooted in the elementary grades, children approach middle school ready to build a good character. We introduce a new component of dharma as it relates to one's nature. Children are encouraged to examine their own internal makeup and recognize their skills and talents that makes each one of us so unique. This is the time when they struggle to form their identity. Moral judgment shapes a person's character. Children become aware of the choices we have at each moment and learn consequences of these choices. They soon realize how they're free to control their own destiny. In grade 6, we look at other saints and sages of India. Once we are aware of the ladder of the fall, we can learn from the lives of our saints to see how they climbed the ladder of perfection. Our epic, the Mahabharata, is a summary of everything that the children have learned this far. First and foremost, they recognize that the term Hindu mythology is an oxymoron. The Mahabharata is a historical documentation of what actually happened in that era many moons ago. In other words, an Itihasa.
eighth grade presents a form for the children to explore their personal toolbox. First, know what you have so you're aware of your own skills. Second, we can and we must be able to recognize the differences between when you can act and when you must act. In addition to all of these, 8th graders also learn to chant the Hanuman Chalisa. Character development denotes a person's internal texture. Personality development, on the other hand, is what characterizes one's external makeup. In the high school years, children explore their group identity and cultural identity. These years are marked by a strong emphasis on one's personality development. Grade 9 explores the various facts of Hindu culture. It gives enough confidence to our children, such as they're proud of their rich heritage and culture. What exactly is the frame of mind? In grade 10, we explore the mind, our greatest gift, as well as the components that make us up as individuals. Eleventh grade is typically when students get their driver's license. At Chinmaya Mission, students learn to drive on the road of life that may not always be a bed of roses. We teach them the skills to learn the art of right conduct while interacting with the world and offer various tools and techniques for a successful living. They learn to read signs that point to traps that keep us away from inherent peace and happiness, and they become vigilant of their responses and reactions. Interactive discussions along with hands-on activities and experiments are used to drive each point home. As a senior in grade 12, students build upon the mind and art of living curriculum introduced earlier. We train them to be detectives who study their own imprints or vasanas that are the root cause of their thoughts and actions. They learn about sadhanas for purification so that they become productive citizens of the society. The ultimate goal is to be the best you can be for yourself, your family, and for the rest of the world, with clarity of vision leading a well-grounded life in Vedantic principles. For that very reason, Shinmya Mission also offers cultural classes so that the student can be well-rounded in different fields. This concludes our presentation, and we thank you for your time and attention. We know that you have a choice on how to spend your weekend, and we're sure that the whole family will enjoy it with us. We appreciate your support from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you, and Hari Om.